This is this is an interesting one because we've got the the guy who's really in form at the moment in the ladder, Sharif. He's been rank one NA pretty much since the reset of this uh, season, and he's going against First Killer, who's been the in form guy for show matches in NA. He's actually won eight in a row at this point. Before we get into the match, though, thanks to Jonathan Lanoix and Dainu. Uh, both of you for joining the YouTube channel. I swear like some of the, some of these names I've seen before <laughs> But it doesn't say on my YouTube channel membership page I hope I got my uh, back. How many May times you've, League you've joined you. so I don't know if this is multiple times I'm gonna have to look into that Sharif looked good at times during his two recent series wins that he had on my stream just last week <laughs> First killer says join this time. Thanks first killer for the advice <laughs> but you know, First Killer is on an 8 series winning streak, and I think for that reason I have to just give him a slight edge here. That's a crazy, crazy show match streak. Now, when it comes to defense, I think the First Killer has the edge in this matchup. When it comes to comeback potential, I think Sharif has the edge. Um, offensively, I think it's dead even. Uh, it's going to be 1-0 First Killer. He's read Sharif's challenge pretty easily here. And he gets the first goal with a basic pop. Thanks for uh, some more Prime subs, guys. I'll shout you all out by name. Um, either between, between games or after the series is over. So if you have to go right now, then thank you. <laughs> Whoever those noises were. Slow play by Sharif. Gets saved from close range by first. If there's one thing that first definitely has the advantage in, it's got to be reaction time. Some of the best and quickest reactions I've ever seen in Rocket League belong to this man. Sharif getting a bit out of position there. Looks like he might be starting off cold in this one. We all know that it doesn't really matter with Sharif. He can turn it up a notch or two before this match is over. Another offensive opportunity for Sharif. This time he will make it work. And I love what he's done here. This is really smart because it gives him two options. If first killer decides to move into this bottom corner area to block the side flip shot. The Sharif could just go for the straight up mind game or the low 50-50 at the near post. But if First Killer does sit back like he did there, then Sharif has the, the side flip shot to catch him off guard. Oh my goodness, speaking of, what a touch by First Killer. Look at this. How has he managed to pop this so high here? <laughs> that was very, very cheeky by First Killer. Do not think Sharif was ready for that one. Uh, we've never actually seen this matchup on my stream. I believe that this is the first time that Sharif and First Killer have played against each other. It's going to be two goals for Sharif. First Killer is beaten to the ball at the side of the field. Yeah, it looks like Sharif just got the best, better of him there on the race to the boost. Lots of goals to start things off. And I mean, when you're going up against attackers like these, it is not easy to get too many saves. Hey, thanks to the three pound eighty. That's a dish off the back goal by Sharif. I looked away just Let's thinking that first killer would have had this one, but Sharif's actually managed to sneak it past him. Tied this game up. I'm impressed by Sharif's offense early on here. I do think that first killer is the better goalkeeper between these two. Probably better at shadow defending as well. It's like I hinted at earlier. So Sharif needs to bring his A game in offense. First killer with the boost seal. He might have had a chance there to go for a shot on net. I don't think he realized just how out of position Sharif was landing. Sharif doesn't want to center this ball with five boosts. He's decided to keep it in the corner. That's wise. First killer tried to sneak in a demo. Wasn't going fast enough. It seems to have calmed down now. First killer barreling straight towards Sharif, but he's not got anything that he could do with that ball. It was just sitting in front of him in a pretty awkward position. Always got to watch out for those first killer long shots. Never lacking in power. Never lacking in accuracy. Sharif has been more inconsistent, I would say, with his own shooting, at least in his uh, live stream career. But that's because first killer is just one of the most consistent shooters that we have in the North American scene at the moment. Some nice dribbling plays from First Killer to keep him in the lead here. That uh, 
cut and pop is something we saw quite a lot yesterday in the uh, matchup between OSM and Rottweiler. Rottweiler, who's doing it in that one? Look at this from Sharif. He's got a cut and pop of his own. So he gets it to go in field. And then changes it up not once but twice. First killer wasn't able to keep this out. This is a really interesting game. Attacking moves seem to be reigning supreme right now. Sharif knows that's hitting the crossbar, but still. Awkward position for the current North American number one in the ranked leaderboard. First killer with the double boost seal. And now here he comes with an air dribble. Attempting a flip reset. Still threatening in the follow-up, even though he didn't land it. Sharif is playing patiently here. Waiting to see if First Killer is going to overextend. First Killer has just centered the ball for him. The patient play will give Sharif his first lead that he's had all game. Very interesting stuff. It's first Killer trying to run the ball back into his corner and then across his own goal. Did not realize Sharif had taken the shortcut straight to the center of the box. And Sharif with more attacking maneuvers that look so threatening. First killer just gets a save, but he's in a precarious position here. You know, that, that was before he decided to be upside down. And Sharif's going to score pretty effortlessly, if I might say. First killer not able to put in any consistent challenge from that position. Still, you know, flipping upside down on the goal line is not exactly going to help in uh, any scenario. Minute and 20 ish left of the clock. First killer with another air dribble. Sharif gets a solid hitbox to keep it out of the net, though. So impressed with this new Sharif that we're seeing these days. There was never any doubt that he had the ability to pop off, but now he's looking a lot more composed, especially when things aren't going completely to plan. So kudos to Sharif for making that adjustment in his gameplay. I mean, saying that, he's still got a ways to go before we'll call him a consistent player. Chance to make it two goals again. Sharif drills it. A nice shot from first killer. Definitely a little bit of sarcasm there from first as the kickoff goal goes in. Minute and five left and it's still two goals for Sharif. And a kickoff possession. Decides to slow play. This is very smart by Sharif. He doesn't want to give first killer an easy counter attack. Sharif not getting too desperate for boost in the corner as well. He's Playing the ball just to make sure that First Killer doesn't get any free goals. You know, he's going to be in an awkward position in terms, in terms of boost, but he's knocking seconds off the clock here. He's just making sure that he's not going to concede too quickly. Sharif just gets a piece of that one. Almost a goal for First Killer. 24 seconds left. Sharif might just run the ball away from the goal. He's not too fussed about scoring. Just doesn't want to get scored on. He's taking this really seriously here in game one. I don't blame him. He's on a good win streak himself. And he also wants to end that win streak of first killer. That almost stretching up to ten. It's, this would be nine wins in a row if first killer can get the series today. But game one will go to Sharif. Regardless of that consolation goal from first killer. It's going to be a comeback necessary for the youngster. First killer says Lamau. I don't know what this is uh, referring to, uh, but we'll leave that up for uh, your imagination. I'm not going to ask. What time do I have to be up for work? You know, it's late over there. This is my job, so I don't need to get up in the morning. Well, I don't. I do want to wake up like tomorrow at a reasonable-ish time. Uh, oh, Baloki! It, it actually did three pound eighty to the prize pool. I'll be sure to if if one whoever wins this, I'll subscribe to their Twitch channel because that's about five dollars, right? <laughs> Unless we get more prize pool donations, then uh, a subscription would not quite suffice. All right, game two. Now with first killer's potential temperament, you have to favor Sharif really quite heavily if he can lock up this second game, make it a two a two game advantage in a best of five. All right, hold on a second. What's Brian got for me here? Fairy versus Rottweiler match. Rottweiler looks so much better now. Show match between the two would probably be awesome. I think that would be a really great matchup as well. I mean, Rottweiler has proved himself um, 
recently by taking rank 1 for the 1v1 leaderboard and also looking confident against OSM just yesterday. So yeah, I think that would be a really good matchup. I did hear from Rottweiler, or watching Rottweiler's stream, that he does enjoy playing against FairDP quite a lot. I'm leaving to the army in 19 days for two years and eight months. I want two years to and eight months. You for incredible streams. You are an amazing caster, and I hope I'll get to see some of your streams after the first eight months of my recruitment. For these Save are the most full here. months of the recruitment. All right, Mr. Marbles. Well, first of all, hope you enjoy the time away. Hope it goes well, and. Yeah, I'm glad that I've been able to, you know, provide you with that entertainment while you're while you're here. Oh, Shrink with a nice save here again. Good defense by current NA number one. Our skillers having a fight tooth and nail for this. You will get the goal with the bump onto Shrink for the process. Yeah, like I was saying though, Mr. Marbles. Um, yeah, cheers for a thousand bits as well, and enjoy yourself. You know, that's probably a good time to mention that. Sharif is actually um, going to basic training, I think, uh, next week. So this will be the last that we see of him for a while as well. So there, you know, there's quite a few people, I guess, doing that at this time. I don't, I don't know. I think it's, it's Sharif going in the uh, the Air Force. Is that what I? Is that what I remember hearing? Can somebody confirm that in chat, maybe? Yeah, Air Force? Okay, nice. I did not just make that up. This is the Spectre uh, Black Market decal, if I'm not mistaken. The Sharif Scott. So somebody asking. Now, first killer looking for an early turnaround, but Sharif chased him all the way into the corner, so he's gone as far back as possible. It's more good saves by Sharif, and now he's got a chance to counter. That ball is on target, but slowly. Sharif looking for the boost and he gets it first killer invested a lot of his in his failed attempt to contest it and that is an equalizer for Sharif it was a small margin for error there but first killer used all the boost that he did have to try and contest that boost grab it did not work and he saw how ineffective the wall defense was in the seconds that followed by Mateos how you doing mate by Mateos I've never actually asked you how you pronounce your name I like Matey. Matey sounds like a, a cool name. Air roll shot by Sharif. It's just a kind of shot that First Killer loves to save, though, that one. Those top shelf floaters, never really a threat for First. He's trying to center it quickly now, but Sharif is ready to counter. That's risky by First Killer. Sharif had a ch uh, chance there to take a shot on a potentially open net, but get off power. Very low scoring game compared to the last. Sharif trying to bait in a challenge from First Killer by doing a couple barrel rolls. It looks like First Killer was not phased by either. 30 left. Sharif with a well timed challenge. First Killer is about to pull the trigger on the reverse 45 degree flick. Sharif has a great chance to take the lead here. He's just run straight into First Killer though. I would have liked to see him. Switching the play there, going from left to right. May have been more successful, I think, than going straight down the line towards First Killer, especially knowing that First Killer is as good as he is at shadowing. Now, Sharif's actually used all his boosts in a failed contest for his own corner. Stalled quite well. And not only that, he snapped a shot over the top of First. Sharif with no boost. Finds an opening, look at that, he's, he's found maybe 12 boosts, but to spot that opportunity is really well done. His first killer had all the control, all the boosts, he even had the ball. Sharif noticed that there was a split second that he could nip in, take a shot before first killer turns around with the 100 boosts that he grabbed from the midfield. There's, it is Sharif on the cusp of taking that two game lead. First killer trying to do the exact same thing that Sharif just did to him with that turnaround snapshot. Sharif is just blocking absolutely everything right now. Shuts down another dribble by First Killer. It's going to be more First Killer offense though in the final minute. 
run up for a hook shot. He's just decided to cut a double jump pop it, but that's not going to work. Sharif fakes him off it with a couple of jumps. Playing the clock very well is Sharif, and he's going to use the crossbar to waste some more time. Wide open net for 4 2. Sharif has never looked this clean. Might be the man to beat right now in North America. He's up by two with five seconds left. He's soon about to be up by two in the series. Hang on. Might not be over just yet. First killer out will be now. He had a chance to get it in before zero seconds. But it was not effective. What a win though by Sharif. That zero boost run up to a shot against an opponent who's almost on full boost. I think he was on full boost and had pretty good control of the situation. Really, really good 1v1 IQ. Shame Sharif is peaking right now when he has to go. I mean, it's better that he's playing well before he goes than playing really badly, right? Like, it's not, it's, yeah, it would be nice to, for him to be able to, you know, stay and continue dominating, but it's also good that he can go out with a bang, you know, and I'm sure we'll see more of him when he's back. Um, I think it was seven or eight months. Maybe somebody in chat will be able to tell us how long uh, he's going to be away. I forget myself. Right, he seems so comfortable defending against whatever first killer is going to throw at him, whether it be low 50-50s, shadowing, goal line saves, trying to sneak in challenges. Doesn't really... Doesn't really bother Sharif today. He's able to do it all quite effectively. He's tripped up first killer there. First killer is going to trip him up as well. Sharif comes out on top of the boost battle. First killer with the ball. Almost a minute gone in game three. First killer not able to get enough power on this flick. Not even close to damaging Sharif's defense there. More really nice minuscule movements by Sharif in the midfield. Realizing first killer might try to surprise him with a shot. He stays airborne and again there he's just backed up first killer by making it look like he's going to continue hovering behind the ball. First killer afraid to accept the 50-50 challenge. So close to Sharif's net. And a half gone now. Still no goals in the third game. This one could be the series winner for Sharif against the players on an eight series win streak. Sharif passes it to himself off the post. No way. I don't think first killer is ready for this attack to be coming at him just that quickly. Sharif, no, it was actually first killer who starts to put it off the post. That's a bit unfortunate for first killer. If he hadn't hit the post there on the inside, the ball would have been in Sharif's corner and he would have at least had a chance to save the counter attack. But as is, Sharif gets it end to end and into the net before first killer could respawn. And first killer in and out save. Ineffective. Sharif's shot goes low. No doubt first killer was expecting something a bit higher there when Sharif was lining up a shot, but with the ball bouncing away from him and not much boost in the tank, it was never going to be easy to get the ball up high. Sure, Sharif's glad that he didn't shoot it high after seeing what first killer decided to do. Tight cut by Sharif. Tries to run it into the open net, but he's taking too long. First killer this time able to get back and make the save. Sharif's going to do the same thing at the other end of the field. More awkward positioning for Sharif. He's just forcing first killer to play the ball from angles that he doesn't want to. Although first killer might have a goal here from the boost advantage. Yes, he will. 50-50 goes barely in his favor. It's the fact that he has the boost. Sharif does not give him the win on the race to the ball. Why am I live at 3 a.m.? Why not? Yeah, appreciate all you guys who've dropped subs and resubs, by the way. I will shout, shout you all out after this series is over. So, don't go anywhere if you want to hear me try and pronounce your name. <laughs> Probably fail. Surely an equalizer here for first killer. Indeed, a tie game. Sharif overextends. Zero boost. Sitting underneath the opposition crossbar. Something that we have seen from Sharif in the past. The zero boost aggression. We saw it even last game. He has a good knack for spotting opportunities to aggress the ball with no boost. Look at that shot by first. He hasn't half hit that one hard enough. Oh, saved by Sharif though. So it was almost creeping underneath the crossbar. It might have actually been sneaking under the crossbar after it touched it initially. 
Yeah, the best of fives. First killer needs three in a row. Shorty Fish is staying with this one to make sure the first killer is not going to try any shenanigans like a pinch shot. And the first has been backed off into his own half. Sharif has a chance to make a play of his own. Hello, John. He's not hit the right part of the backboard for a follow-up. He's going to go for it anyway, though. Super risky by Sharif. Alright, uh, Jack Maness, since I heard you say that you're going to rewatch the watch later, I'll just say thanks for your resub right now. Saved by Sharif. Yeah, enjoy work, dude. That was really nicely done by Sharif in the in the defensive aspects of things. Not so much in offense, the previous play. His, I think his touch to the backboard and also his decision to try and rebound it. Not good ideas. Speaking of bad ideas, first killer. He's gonna punish a very careless Sharif challenge. The speed of first killer shines through. He didn't just get the ball over Sharif there, he also got his car over Sharif for the double jump pop. It's a pretty common thing in those positions for the ball to go past the defender, but the car to get smacked out of the way. Sharif tries to wave dash. He will chip it. Saved by first killer. Sharif's got to be careful here not to give this one away for free. First killer has overestimated Sharif's boost, and he's given him so much space. Sharif is going to use it to maximum effect. First killer backing off. Again and again and again, expecting Sharif to have more boost than he did. If First Killer knew that Sharif was as low as that, I'm sure he would have just put a challenge in. As things stand, we are all tied up. Sharif with an exquisite touch to take the boost and control the ball. But First Killer responds with an awkward touch of his own just to back up Sharif long enough that he can grab 100 boosts and even out this battle. Sharif still has the ball firmly under his control. First Killer, this time, manages to successfully challenge it and it wasn't conventional but it does work the landing for first completely catching Sharif off guard I don't think Sharif was quite ready for first to land and hit the ball again he was expecting more time chance for Sharif on zero but he's hit the ball the wrong way first killer won't keep it up for him and it will be one game for first, the chance to get the reverse sweep is alive. I'm excited to see what nice you ride, have in dude. store the rest of this year. Quick question: Do you think I can get to GC from Champ One in less than six months? It is definitely possible. Definitely possible to get from GC to, to GC from Champ One. Even more possible to get from GC to Champ One. No, it's possible to get GC from Champ One in six months. Depends, of course, how much time you're able and willing to dedicate to the game, though. You'll need to put in quite a lot of time to the game for that to work out. Solid backboard defense by Sharif. First killer not really punishing him there with either of those touches. Sharif has the option for the second touch of his own, and he gets it. Look at that finish by Sharif. It's on the goal line. Oh, he saved it. His own shot. Tantalizingly close, but not quite close enough. And he's gone and jessied it. And now first killer, oh my days, it's bounced off both players and gone into the crossbar. What is going on? This is absolutely a Jesse game all of a sudden. I've got no better way to describe it. Hands up. <laughs> Two ridiculous plays. One at one end of the field, one at the other. How on earth that ball didn't end up in Sharif's net, I'll never know. I mean, <laughs> same thing with First Killer's net. Could very easily be one all right now. There's the pinch attempt by First. He doesn't lean back into it the same way that we've been seeing other players do recently. Another air dribble by Sharif. This time, First Killer gets in the way of it. Another low scoring start to a match. Sharif, once again, more than willing to challenge with zero boost. First Killer, 18 boost of his own. Sharif slaps it over his head. Open net, but the shot is just way too slow. Sharif still in control of the ball. He's been prioritizing ball over boost almost exclusively this match. Great save by Sharif in the recovery. Parskill is not done yet, though. He's looking for floor pinch. 
This one will bounce wide. It's another completely scoreless game, but no less interesting than the ones earlier in the series, which had more goals. It's not the most standard series. What reaction save by Shirley. First killer. Reverse 45 degree flick. Missed the first contact. Somehow managed to get the second one, and that's a really good read by Sharif. Not just to make contact with this ball as it comes back off his own back wall, but with hardly any boost. And another save on First Killer's reverse 45 degree flicks. You know, I said at the start of the series that I reckon First Killer's got the edge defensively, but Sharif this series has been mental, especially this game. Some outrageous stops. And he's got the one goal lead this time on the counter. The frustration for First Killer has got to be through the roof at the moment. With so many saves coming in for his opponent. He's going to tie it up with a kickoff goal. And it is going to be just back-to-back -back goals after well over two minutes of none. Another chance for First Killer on a kickoff. And another good shot. 2-1. First Killer takes the lead. Maybe sure he shouldn't have bothered scoring. He should have just ran the ball around the field for two minutes and then tried to score. Take away First Killer's option for the double kickoff goal response is probably the worst thing that could ever happen to you when you've just worked super hard for a <laughs> one goal lead after two over two minutes of gameplay. That's a really nice recovery here by Sharif. One in the wall and he's even throwing a jump in there upside down to hit the ground that bit faster. Save some boost in the process. All tied up, Sharif with some goals. First killer with some kickoff goals. Oh, now that is fortunate for Sharif though. I mean, if kickoff goals are lucky sometimes, then that is just as fortunate. If he didn't land on first killer's car, then I'm sure first killer was scoring on the counter attack on that uh, crossbar shot. More aggression early by Sharif. He's spotted first killer turning awkwardly it's followed it up with an open net miss that's not what you want to see if you're a Sharif fan first killer is still trying to be as tricky as possible with his own plays in offense Sharif gladly accepts a 50-50 another open net and this one he will score and watch Sharif opt in to the challenge here he had the option to ball carry and flick but he decided it was too risky. He couldn't see which, what First Killer was doing. He was scared off the potential dunk by First. Decided to just back it, back up the ball. Or uh, rather, back up his car away from the ball. Let it drop. And then see if he can win a 50-50 in the follow-up, which he did. Love that play. It's so safe from Sharif. 50 seconds left for First Killer. He needs a win here. To stay alive in the series. That shot's just not good enough. He's going to bounce before the line and be too easy for Sharif to save. And he's got the ball past first to get the killer again. Looks like first killer has plenty of boost to get back. Sharif is still threatening shots. His first to the goal though. He's on the counter straight down the middle. As he managed to get a stop on Sharif's attempted floor pinch. And first killer knew that Sharif had to go all the way around the ball there if he's going to pull out any kind of accurate shooting angle. First killer with the 100 boost. He's got the small advantage intact at the moment. Remember, it's not just his one series today that's alive. It's his eight series win streak. Looking to be nine that stays alive with a win here. One more goal would do it. Sharif tries to air dribble. Fails. Now first killer. Quick on the counter. Hold on a second. I make that a zero second wall shot goal. First killer catches it clean. What a half volley off the wall. It bounces in on zero. And we are going to go to game five. Sharif's going to be kicking himself. He had a play with about 15, maybe 12 seconds left. That could have ended it all. And he's going to have to start fresh. It's a best of one now for the series. Uh, yeah, I am planning to stream on after this series. Probably do some replay reviews. That's a tentative plan. Uh, I've caught, like, I think I caught a cold because my uh, my girlfriend's got got a cold, a really bad one today, and then I just started sneezing and getting a runny nose today as, as well. So I think I'm like one day behind her on this exact same. Call.
cold that's going around. <laughs> so probably not going to be doing too much, uh, too many replay reviews rather. Don't want to stream for too long today. The wave dash is by Sharif. Staying alive in this offensive play. He had options there to go for a demo on first killer. There was a couple of landings for first. But Sharif could have tried to snipe. He's decided to back off and play it defensively. Now, looking for the double touch rebound. First killer gets a stop in between the ball and the goal. He didn't even intercept that one pre Sharif's hit. He's managed to read it and get in the way of it. Another quiet start to a game, but still, well, in terms of goals, but still quite. I would say noisy in terms of entertainment. Really back and forth here. Sharif with the bump, and he's going to slot it in the bottom corner to make good on the open net. Really nice awareness by Sharif. Noticing first killer driving across him. Time that I go to sleep when I am streaming. You know I'm 30. I'm not 38, mate. I'm, I'm going to be 28 on Friday. <laughs> For sure you're aware of this. But yeah, I'm... Uh, Usually sleeping from around about, I'd say, 2 in the morning till 10 in the morning-ish. That's my usual sleep. Rebound there by first killer. He didn't half attack that one early. One all. This series continues to deliver. First killer. I mean, a lot of people would like to see him continue his win streak just so he has a shot at that 10th series win in a row. But you know, Sharif's on a bit of a streak as well. And... Also being the number one player in NA at the moment. It's definitely earned him a lot of fans, a lot of respect. Here's Killers deciding to go straight at Sharif's goal. Not for the first time when he's got the ball on top of his head. I don't really like this, to be honest. I've said this many times in the past in other show matches. I definitely prefer First Killer to switch sides there. If he's starting off on the right-hand side of the field, why not dribble over to the left? If he's starting off on the left, why not dribble to the right? He's got better vision. He's got more options. Harder for Sharif to put in a challenge goal side. First killer choosing to go directly at Sharif's goal in almost every offensive play. He's not really leaving too much for Sharif to guess. First killer, not much boost, but he's managed to sneak one in anyway. That is a really aggressive play here. 29 boost, but he turns around goes for the ball anyway and he will get the one goal lead I mean it's funny I said he's got no much boost and I switched him and he's got 100 but I meant before the play <laughs> started he didn't have too much first killer looking to make it 3-1 he's missed what was essentially an open net there top right hand corner was wide open shots for first killer looking nervous Sharif with a chance to start an offensive play of his own. First killer threatening a demo. He's managed to just swoop the ball clean away. It's been all first killer running rings around Sharif in this last game, and he's going to get his third goal down that same line that he missed the open net from. Sharif was just not ready for that burst of acceleration. He tried to tag first killer as he's driving past him, but first killer just a little bit too quick. And that's been the best win condition for first killer in this series, just how fast he is, how quickly he can move around the field and then recover when he's out of position. 1 minute 55 on the clock, Sharif down by two, he's in a very awkward spot, but well done on the turn by Sharif. His first killer might have just overextended by a fraction for that boost steal. Sharif still had some work to do, the side flip flick was the ideal touch to take the ball past first. First killer, kick off, strong once again, and in the lead by two. And it's a nail Sharif side, side for not just this game, but the last one as well. Kick off shots from first have been accurate. Sharif with the chance to start up another offensive play. Will he go to the air dribble? No, he's gonna go for a low 50-50, it's the complete opposite. And this time it will work, first killer. Tries to get as much of the ball as he can. But all he gets is a piece of the top end. It's a one goal game. I love that Sharif didn't drop the ball into that low 50 too early. He waited till the challenge had already begun and then last second 
backs his car up, lets the ball fall in front of him. Get the maximum chance for First Killer to get faked. He's trying to do it again, but this time First Killer not going to bite quite as hard. What is Sharif going to try and do to get this equalizer? So I'll tell you, it's not going to be easy to get the ball away from First Killer once he does get his hands on it. Minute left, First Killer. He just gives it straight to Street. That is very surprising. After how many times we witnessed first just running the ball around the field earlier in this game and series. Half flip blind onto the boost by Sharif. And first killer does him a favor. Centers it. Sharif accepts the gift. What a recovery though by Sharif. Blind half flip onto the boost. First killer panicking in the aftermath. And we're completely tied up. <laughs> 35 seconds remaining here. Conspiracy theorists are going to be uh, going wild for this. Low 50 by first. Sharif drills his car down into it just to make sure he doesn't get undone by the same thing that he did to first just moments ago. But he has to make a dash for his goal. First killer's coming at it. And he will get the 5 4 lead. The 50-50 angle was just not the right one for Sharif to go for. He's coming sideways. First killer's coming goal side. And you know what happens in those situations. Well, that might actually just be on target. It's just wide for first killer. And he gives Sharif the ball one last time. Sharif winding up a shot, but first killer's backed off away from it. Chance though, still for Sharif. Ball remains up on zero. It's going to go down though. Sharif ran out of boost. He couldn't keep it up. And what a series. First killer manages to take it 3-2 in a reverse sweep. And now nine series wins in a row for first killer. Ridiculous stuff. He's beaten Sharif, one to Mike Lionblaze, Sharp, the car, Forky, Mittens, AJ, and Mectos. <laughs> All back to 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 back. However many back to back. Yeah, 9-0 record. Sharif still looking super impressive, although outpaced at times towards the end of the series. Definitely not able to keep up with First Killer's speed when First Killer started uh, going up in gears. But wow, he took him all the way down to the wire. Sharif said so many game fives on my stream. It's crazy. It could have gone either way, of course. But First Killer does squeak it out. You guys saying first killer versus Lethemir for uh, for the ten for the ten wins, the ultimate test. That might be something I'll have to organize. I don't know if Lethemir's been practicing much ones. I'm sure he'd want to put in a couple of uh, practice days. <laughs>